this is Hidden Gem Tarot and I am back to do a another general read for whoever needs it at this time. I'm uh, just a little frustrated because I already did this reading and about five minutes ago I accidentally deleted that message. So I guess that message you can say was not meant to be out. Um, but I will say the main message of that reading was... Um, someone receiving rewards, re recognition um, for all of their hard work, their effort, their talent, their skills, whatever they have been working on, investing into, developing, someone receiving everything back, um, recognition, job offers, opportunities. Um, there was a heavy energy there about someone's home, foundation, even roots, family, ancestral. I was seeing a guardian angel. Uh, that was from someone's family and ancestry on the maternal side. I'm seeing, I was seeing a very peaceful home, loving home, a lot of spiritual music, um, laughter, peaceful, uh, beautiful home, very beautiful home, um, aesthetically pleasing. Um, this would be the, like the type of home you walk into. It smells so good. Like you have like incense burning or good food in the air, baked cookies. Uh, music um, in particular because of the strong Pisces energy that was coming through in that reading I will feel like whatever music this person would be would be playing would be very spiritual um, and I did pick up like on a very religious or spiritual individual and or family who's very well versed and connected um, clean energy light bright and it's all within someone's foundation their home um, a place of rest, a place where they can go and escape from outside negative energies and forces. Um, someone has been healing, has healed. This is someone who is healed. It wasn't like someone um, who was in the process of healing. This would be someone who has completed their healing and um, has leveled up and, you know, maybe have gotten a new home, upgraded their home. Um, you, I, I was seeing like a lot of cash flow coming in, like I was seeing like financial freedom. Um, so someone was just in their healed version of themselves with a lot of financial freedom, a blessed and stable, peaceful home, very safe and comforted. <clears throat> someone who could uh, be into interior decorating, interior design, remodeling. Um, I was seeing like potentially something about real estate, flipping houses. I was seeing so much different things. Um, there was a snake in someone's garden. Someone has a garden. And uh, this was would be someone that this individual wasn't um, or hasn't seen or talked to in a long time. Um, maybe the last time that this person has came across this individual was when they were struggling, suffering, going through hardships. And then the next time they run into this person, it looks to be at like some type of gathering or an event or reunion. Could be like a school reunion. I don't know. <clears throat> but you run into this older or old person um, who has like only known this individual to... Um, be of someone once again that was going through a lot of burdens difficulties suffering um in their life like they were struggling you know but uh the next time they come across this person um this person has already leveled up they're they've already um appeared to be healed um doing very well for themselves um in all aspects of their life, um, especially when it comes to their stability, their home, um, especially if they moved, relocated, got a new home, um, built their built their finances to where they have, you know, either financial freedom or just money is coming and going freely um, within this person's stability and home. And this person just looks healthy and happy. And it really sets off another person um i was seeing like an energy of like this person running into this individual this individual is actually coming up as like a snake so they would run up or they ran into this person like at some type of event or gathering or party 
um and it's just like the last time that they seen him once again this person was going through hardships suffering difficulties and then all of a sudden when they run into them years later this person is doing the exact opposite you know they're doing really well they got a new car new house maybe even new children uh, money they look like money smell like money um and when this person runs into this individual at this event they feel like something is off about this person like this person's not necessarily happy for them like this person starts moving funny treating them funny acting weird like normally back in the day you know this person would be happy to see them excited um very you know uh talkative but this time maybe this person you know is giving you like the side eye or saying little comments or just acting weird treating you weird um suspiciously you know and it's due to it is due to envy and jealousy uh, because how someone has leveled up and changed their life so um and once again it was a lot to do with someone's finances home stability house there was something about uh, a blueprint to a home or house building a house being an ar architect being an interior design decorator um, throwing events being a good hostess good food good music um something about you know getting a new job it was just i loved loved that reading and someone is just getting back everything that they put out everything that they deserve and invested into um so that was just like basically the gist of that reading um so let's see what this energy we that we could tap into this time this dang sage is like so hard to get a good burn with it takes forever so uh this reading still will be timeless in general so whenever you do come across this reading and video that will be the time for you to receive this message um it's not science specific as well so because it is general this reading can be pertaining to any area and aspect of your life that's in regards to your career finances love relationship family in situations that affect you directly or just in your environment this reading could be about your past present future warning advice it could be about any and everything and that is because i will be pulling random tarot and oracle cards out place them in a random spread and reading the strongest message and energy that's coming through the strongest at this time at any point in this reading if i come across strong energies of a particular sign and or element i definitely will call those things out and let you know so before we actually get started and jump right into this reading, let's take a little bit of our time to invite our holy ancestors and divine spirit guides to come in, remove any negative energies that may block or hinder us from receiving clear, concise messages, as well as guidance and protection. As we use these tools to receive these messages, and I ask to please allow these messages to always lead for our highest good. <clears throat> Once again, this reading will be general. Um, I will start this reading off with the astrology dice. I will see what energies or downloads that I can receive with those. And then I'll go into the oracle cards, tarot, clarify, then towards the end of the read, I will pull additional cards if I feel called to do so. Um, in the last reading, I did do the iTunes radio, random songs. But for this reading, I'm not really, I don't really feel compelled to do that for this reading. So... Um, let's get right into it. Let's start out with the astrology dice once again. Let's see what signs, planets, and houses we are dealing with for today. Let's see. This them fail. What is that? Uh, I see. What is that? Jupiter? I see Jupiter. So I look for. Oh, all right. nice so we have mars this time the last time i think we had venus in the fourth house pisces in the fourth house venus and pisces this reading we are dealing with mars number seven seventh house of libra and taurus 
So this would be Taurus in the seventh house, Mars in the seventh house, and Mars and Taurus. I don't know why, but I'm hearing or seeing like someone fights for their relationships or someone will fight for their relationship. Okay, this is not someone you want to go up against with Mars and Taurus. Um, this is someone who's in it for the long haul, you know, very committed, devoted, loyal, stable, secure, you know, um, very slow. So um, not slow, but like stubborn, like this person cannot be moved, you know, like so this is like the type of person whenever they commit to something, make up their mind, it's hard to move them out that spot. <laughs> Someone's in a relationship or a contract and they they cannot be moved out of that relationship or contract. You have to fight this person for it. So um, this is like hitting a brick wall with Taurus being there. Okay. Someone's partner could be very stubborn, as a matter of fact, as well. Combative, even. Um, but this person is slow to anger. It takes a long time for this person to get upset. It takes a lot or a long time for this person to get upset. But they do have a temper. This is a very sensual person um, to be in a relationship with. Very sensual. Um, sensual relationship, sensual person, very physical as well. They like to be physical, a lot of touching, uh, a lot of sex, um, arguing might even turn this person on or aggression, a little bit of rough sex. This could be a masculine or a masculine energy, whether it's a feminine who embodies this masculine Taurus energy, or this is a masculine, okay, who has this energy. It's very masculine for sure, uh, with Mars being there, of course. Um, Mars is the planet of action and energy. Yeah, so once again, this could be like an energy this person embodies. Someone, Mars could be in Taurus. Um, or this is just an energy that this person is in. This is what this person is like. If you are wondering, I don't know why I just heard that. Like, if you are wondering what it's like to be in a relationship with someone, this is actually um, someone that's very slow moving. Um, I'm almost getting like a Knight of Pentacles. I think this is someone who doesn't jump into relationships quick. Either. And they don't leave relationships quickly as well. Like this person tends to stay in relationships for the long term, for long time, long periods. So I get like an energy of, you know, it's slow for someone to get in one and it's slow for them to come out of one. Um, so if you get to know this person, they tend to be in relationships for years. This will be someone who's been in a relationship for a year. Um, if you ask them how long was your last relationship, this will be someone who would be like five years, six years, eight, nine, ten years um, relationship. I don't think for with this Taurus is anything less than like two years or a year. Um, I would say at least two, three years minimum with this type of energy. Um, when it comes to relationships and contracts, and it doesn't have to be just relationships. Like this is the type of person when it comes to any bond to bond with this person or contracts or partnerships. Um, this person is very loyal, very committed. Uh, devoted, um, grounded, you know, once they set their action and intention on a certain 
direction or they sign up for something or they agree to something, they stick to it and they're in it for the long haul. So no matter how long it takes to get to the goal, uh, they're, they're there for the mission, for the enduration of the journey to get to the destination, the goal, or, you know, with, or just with that person, you know, so this could be like a trusted partner, rather business, romantic love. This is someone um, who will stick by, beside their partner for a long time. Um, but could be also a little bit temperamental and stubborn. <clears throat> okay, a little aggressive. But the good thing about it is this person, it takes a lot, a lot or a long time to push their buttons to get them upset, to act out. All right, so that's what I have with that. So yes, completely different energy than the one from earlier. We have uh, like a four of pentacles energy here of someone not letting go. They have a claw. <laughs> this is having a tight grip on something holding on. Let's see graduation. All right. So someone got a tight grip here. We have Libra, seventh house again. Nice. Okay, so this is definitely about the seventh house. Okay, so it has a tight grip on their contract, partner, partnership, love. This is someone who is not going to let something go, someone go. All right, they're not letting this go. Get very committed to something here. Guess we just do it like that. Let's see, we have Christmas at the bottom. Sagittarius season. Could be talking about gifts. I heard gifts. Normally, I see that as a season, a time frame, or a sign of Sagittarius. But I heard gifts. Something about a gift here. This irks my soul. These cannot sit upright. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so we have someone getting advice. This is to enlighten another person with some tips, hints, ideas, an opinion, guidance, advising, counseling, counsel, someone needing help, someone needing help with uh, direction or information. Okay, this is following Christmas. Someone has a gift of giving advice. Mind you, I heard gift with Christmas. So um, this could be Someone has a gift of enlightening, enlightening other people, a person. This person could have good ideas. Uh, it could be a counselor, guidance counselor, advisor of any kind here. It could give someone good direction. So someone could be gifting someone good advice with not letting someone go, not letting their relationship go, hold on to a relationship. Um, or because someone is not letting go, someone is seeking advice. If they should let go, if someone is not letting go, someone is seeking advice. Um, I don't know. This could be marriage counseling as well. Someone's willing to go through marriage counseling to save their relationship, their contract. Um, hmm. We have Sagittarius, Libra, and Taurus here. So let's see. Interesting. 
see fish. We have a feminine energy here, Taurus, woman. We have wife. I do see a contract here. Could be a mature woman, an older woman, someone that's like 35 and up. Okay, I see maturity. Let's see, someone is refusing to let go. They're trying to get advice, counseling, tips for their relationship, their marriage. This person will never let go or give up or something like that here. Let's see. We have bouquet. <clears throat> Let me set these to the side because this is going to be a pretty big spread. All right, bouquet, number nine, a gift, joy, beauty, happiness, blossoming, appreciation, invitation, attention, astrology is Virgo, timing, 29 days or springtime, and the planet is Jupiter, fish again, card 34, this is finances, wealth, abundance, uh, business, money flowing smoothly, Freedom, astrology is Pisces. That's the card that came out in the last reading. That was the overall energy of financial freedom. Uh, astrology is Pisces. Timing, Pisces season, planet Jupiter. Strong Jupiter here. Strong, strong Jupiter and Mars. Okay. We have a letter, card 27. This is messages, documents, news. Mail, text, contact, communication, expression. The astrology is Gemini. Timing, 27 days. 27th day and the planet Mercury. Okay. We have lots of different signs here. We have the star, car 16. This is hope, recognition, goals, dreams, fame, wishes, optimism, progress, reputation. Astrology is Aquarius, 16 days, the 16th day, and Jupiter again. We have three cards with planet Jupiter of expansion, luck, blessings, wisdom, knowledge. <clears throat> Let's get two more. This looks really good. Two more. We have Tunnel. Card 41, hiding, passage, journey, lost, refuge, exploring the subconscious in dark times. Astrology is Capricorn, timing is divine timing, and the planet is Saturn. All right, let's grab one more. And then we have Tower. Card 19, this is isolation, legal structure, restriction, ego, authority, lonely, standing out, the astrology is Capricorn, timing, 19 days, weeks, or months in the planet Saturn. Overall energy here is the tree, card 5, longevity, health, growth. Uh, ancestry, past life, deeply rooted, expansion, slow, astrology is Virgo, timing, years, having patience, have patience, and the planet is sun. Nice. All right. So I do see growth, slow growth or slow blossoming of something. Following that is travel with the ship, shipments coming in or going, um, something in the distance, the far distance. Could be location-wise or timing. Um, once again, slow growth here for sure. But there is expansion with all of this Jupiter. But it is being negatively impacted because we do have a little bit of Saturn here. We have Saturn here, Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. And then we have communication, news, and or information. Um, hmm. Virgo twice pisces gemini aquarius capricorn twice libra sagittarius taurus a lot of different signs here so a little bit of everything
I'm also seeing with this not letting go, this combination here of not letting go and the bouquet with the fish. Uh, mind you, the fish represents uh, wealth, finances, abundance, freedom, free-flowing money, finances, and then bouquet is gifting, appreciation, attention. So lavishing someone with wealth, finances, money, attention, appreciation, especially with material gifts, material gains here. Um, this is what someone is holding on to, not letting go. The gifts that they receive, especially if they come in money form. All right, money gifts. Um, lavish gifts. Something about attention. Uh, attention. A lot of attention. Because this is abundance. Abundance of attention. Like someone is gifting someone with... I don't know how to describe this. I'm almost getting like a spoiling energy, like spoiling someone. You you spoil someone with attention and gifts, gifts of, I don't know, it's something with finances, money. Okay, so gifting someone money or just gifts in general that cost a lot of money and spoiling this person with gifts. Gifts of money and attention and appreciation. Um, I just get like spoiling energy. This is why someone is not letting go. They will not let go. Um... And it could also go reversed where someone, this is what someone wants to do. They're not letting someone go and they want to keep someone with them or close to them, uh, get them to go into a contract. So someone wants to bind someone into a contract because they want to show their appreciation for this person. Um, they might want to give this, lavish this person with attention, gifts, money business um so there there's a I, I did say gifts wow that is something and i heard it so loud and clear with christmas i heard because like i said normally i see christmas as like a past present or future time frame or sagittarius i rarely see that as a gift but this time when christmas came out i heard gift and look so um, I heard correctly, a gift. Someone wants to gift someone. I think they want to give someone something to put them into a contract. Bind them into a contract so this person can't get away from them. Or they want to give someone something But they're in a, stuck in a contract. It could go like that too. Or someone is trying to get someone into a contract because of a gift. It's definitely about someone's seventh house of partnerships and contracts here. I see a contract. I see a contract here, seventh house, contract here with this letter, mail, and contract with a Libra, seventh house here. There's contract, contract, contract. And this is binding. A binding contract here. Someone wants to bind someone into a contract. Or they are bound into a contract. I think... 
I think, um, I see this is the gift here. Star, letter, fish, bouquet. This is someone gifting to a person to show a pre appreciation. They might even send a email, a text to invite this person out somewhere so they can show appreciation to this individual. <clears throat> um, there's a contract here. Someone wants to deliver a contract to another individual. Uh, this contract, there's some type of restriction here. But this contract actually is freeing. I'm not sure if someone's trying to get freed from a contract or someone was restricted. And this contract is going to give someone financial freedom where someone was restricted. They're gaining access to things that would release them especially in terms of finances, money with this fish card. Um, I don't know if this is someone who is giving a helping hand. Uh, it's something to do with enlightenment, advice, and a gift. It's almost like someone could have been someone else's guiding light out of a dark time, okay? So if someone was someone's guiding light when they were lost in dark darkness with this tunnel, someone could want to gift another person to help for helping them out of this tunnel to find their way, to find their light, to see the light, to find their way. They want to show appreciation for this person's guidance, help, advice, direction. There's something about direction and being lost in this dark tunnel. Someone was lost and someone gave another person direction through advice, guidance, counseling, advising, information, hints, tips, ideas, opinions, something. They gave this person something that gave them that gave them the ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel or direction from being lost here. Um, there could be a legal issue here with Libra being here, contracts, okay? Someone could have been stuck. Well, like I said, I'm seeing either someone was stuck in a contract or someone wants to bind someone into a contract. Someone could have literally felt restricted and stuck with this tower in a contract and they couldn't see their way out of it. But someone gave them the way the direction to get themselves to see themselves out of this contract if they found themselves into a contract they no longer want to be in someone gave someone guidance advice on how to find um some type of idea or misinformation that will help them get out of this contract um And that's why I see Christmas as a gift. And then I see the gift as a form of appreciation for this guidance, for enlightening another person, counseling another person, guiding them, counseling them, giving them direction. I heard purpose as well, but giving them specifically direction out of a binding contract that maybe they no longer want to be in, they felt lost in, they couldn't see a way out. This is restrictive energy, dark, 
and restrictive. Lost, dark, and restrictive here with both Saturn being here. Someone, like I said, I see with this star, with the tunnel, this is someone giving another person hope to not just direction and counseling or guidance, but hope to see the light at the end of the tunnel that is not over, it's not done. Um, there's a way, that there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, I think someone wants to send a message to express their appreciation for their help, their guidance. Um, I don't know who this is, what kind of counselor or guidance counselor um, that they have been getting advice from, advice from, counseling from, guidance from. The overall energy is the sun. And like I said, it's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm seeing the sun, the light, daylight out of darkness. It's like something about coming <clears throat> coming from darkness to light here. Even in this tree, you see the light. And this would be being with, I don't know, I'm kind of seeing like being inside of this tree and coming out, stepping out, following the light. After being restricted into something. But this tunnel is like. So strange. Because the actually is reverse. With going into the tree is the light. Coming out of this tunnel is going into the light. So it's actually reverse. You would think being inside the tree coming out. You'll see light. But there's light within this tree. There's something about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, though, for sure. There's something about a passage here. I see a passage, passage with this tunnel and a passage, passage with this tree. A passage out of something and a passage into something. That's what that is. It's coming out of one thing into another, but they're two opposites. This was darkness and feeling lost. And so what's coming out of that and out as they come out of that, they go into a tree, a tree of life. That is healthy, stability, growth, steady growth and stability here. They step into a family ancestry, a family tree. Could be something to deal with a past life here. Uh, I just heard finding a way home, even though it's a tree. Because um, it's like feeling lost and then finding their way home to their family. That is so weird. I'm like, I'm like seeing like um, a child that was lost and they find their family. So, you know, this is symbolic. Like someone helped guide someone's um, family to their ancestors. It could be something spiritual like that. Like this guidance counselor helped and guided someone out of a dark situation that they were lost, couldn't see their way out of, helped them out, guided them out, and helped them find their ancestors, their forefathers, something about the forefathers. Um, I just got done watching a movie called The Dark Tower. And that's funny, this is a tower in dark times, the dark tower. And I literally just watched a movie that came out 
recently on um what was it amazon called the dark tower and it was a guy in there called the gunslinger or yeah gunslinger i think um i forget the actor's name uh, i can't remember but the point is he says something about forgetting the face the face of your father forgetting the face of your father that's what i just heard but it doesn't have to be like a father just your ancestors like someone was lost um far away from their higher self from the divine light from their ancestors and um someone guided and helped someone find their way home their way back to their roots <laughs> to their ancestral roots to their roots and it are africa but it doesn't have to be africa it could be any ancestral <gasps> what i just happened to look over what the heck i see spanish i see a hair <laughs> look Spanish. Wow. Heritage, tradition, culture. Um, Iberian Peninsula, Mexico. And then you have China. Someone help guide someone who could be from these are two opposites, but it's it's something like that. To someone's ancestral roots their heritage their culture their tr tradition these are just examples but this was following this advice and gu guidance so something about china something about the I iberian peninsula or mexico and i did hear africa as well I don't have Africa in this particular deck yet. It's, I'm still building it and developing it, you know. And then once I finish developing this deck here, um, I will transition into some actual cards when I'm done. But I'm still working on it and building it. So, um, but anyways, yeah, it's definitely about someone's heritage, culture, back to their roots, back to their ancestral roots. Ace of Swords, Nine of the Family, <laughs> someone's family, family tree, okay, let's see, okay, yeah, this Ten of Cups is beautiful, this is family, your roots, Starting a family, building a family, a strong family, getting grounded, get a, get deeply rooted, to grow, to build a family. Um, but I also see like a homecoming for some reason, like a homecoming. You see a home here, homecoming. Uh, reunion. Family reunion. I heard family reunion. But it could just be building a family as well. I do see both ends of building a family, starting a family. Something that's long-term, secure, stable. A happy family you can start a family with. Build a family with. Children. Start children, having children. This is like a um, long-term relationship, commitment. Oh, I have a cups. What is this? Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Starting out, first card out, five of cups. Sadness, regret, grief, Queen of Swords, Feminine, Libra, Strong Libra here, Gemini, 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Ooh, two of Swords in reverse. Mm. The sun. I do see the sun at the end of this tunnel and within this tree. Okay. You see the four of pentacles towards the back of someone not letting go. Someone refusing to let go. The sun again. King of pentacles. Uh, Taurus. Capricorn. Virgo. I see Virgo with the tree bouquet. Capricorn with the tunnel and tower. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles with the world, Nine of Pentacles, Strength, Ooh, Ooh, Nine of Cups, Just Conflict, Drama, Arguments, let's get one more, let's see what we're dealing with, Nine of Pentacles. Virgo again, Virgo feminine. Ooh, what is this? We have the world card towards the back with the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Empress, the Emperor, Libra, Aries, Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, Justice, Libra. Two of Cups was hiding between the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Someone's leaving a contract. Wanting to leave a contract, leaving a contract. They're not emotionally fulfilled here. They're not satisfied or happy here. They want to leave, find a more suitable partner. Um... Someone that they feel is of like minds, like them, as powerful uh, as an empress and emperor. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Someone wants to go towards this. A more, how would you say... These are a power couple, the Empress and Emperor. There's quite a few people here. We have Empress, Emperor, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. The Empress is with the tree. The Empress is the fertility, the growth, where the growth is at. A mother, a grandmother, a mother. She births many things. Things grow in abundance through her, with her by her divine she has like divine divinity she has the crown of stars crowned by the stars here um you see right behind her is all the trees here that talks about her growth i see a waterfall behind her as well um, yeah, the Empress is all about growth here. <clears throat> this is Libra as well. Strong, strong Libra. You guys, I see so many different messages. Um, I'm trying to put it all together, but it's just so all over the place. So many different messages, so many different key points here so um i'm just going to point out everything that i see just take whatever resonates and just go along with me okay so let's start with the empress first and foremost this empress has um it appears to have like some type of royal royal, royal bloodline royal ancestry okay this is not an ordinary person 
okay? This person has some type of ancestry and they pointed, I seen like her ancestry could be in connection to the Iberian Peninsula. It's hard for me to say Peninsula for some reason, but um, Spanish heritage, Mexico, Central America, uh, North America, Central America, um, or the Iberian Peninsula. She could have ancestry from there, uh, even China, something connected to China. Um, she she has some type of divine ancestry. If it's not these two, because these are like the only, I think I have Russia in this deck as well. I only have Spanish, uh, China, Russia. It could be, it's something. This is just like an example. So just definitely take whatever resonates. But even so, she might not even be aware of her heritage in connection to the Iberian Peninsula. If she has, you know, she might not even be aware of it. But if it's not that, it could be any culture or heritage here um, that's deeply rooted into something. And it, it shows up as um, emperor, like royalty, kings and queens, like... This could be like, I don't know, emperor and empresses, okay? Um, something about maybe in a past life, if it's not, definitely not in this lifetime, but in the past life, they rule, ruled over kingdoms, okay? It's something like that with this empress. Um, this empress has some type of bloodline and or ancestry deeply rooted, deeply connected to something here. And I'm noticing like the star on the crown of her head. And we have strong Libra here. Um, and she's adorned by, or her crown is adorned by the stars. So she's adorned by the star celestial ancestors. The star card is ancestry, ancestors. It's, I do see ancestry, strong ancestry here with this tree, the stars, and her crown. She's adorned by her ancestors. Um, many, as a matter of fact, like she comes from a deeply rooted, rich heritage, rich bloodline, generations. Okay, I see Pisces here. Pisces wanted to show up. For some reason but not just one blood link or one family tree like it branches off um or many different lifetimes many different past lifetimes as like y'all yeah, look <laughs> it's so uh, it's so much what i'm seeing here okay so um that's the first thing that i see about this impress deeply rooted into some type of royalty, royal bloodline, ancestry for generations, ancestors. Her ancestors are come from like some type of royal bloodline here. And she's adorned by them. She has a crown of the stars, the crown of her ancestors. Okay. Um, now, I'm also seeing this bouquet represents beauty. And Libra with the Empress also represents beauty so there's something about someone's beauty here someone is very beautiful mature and beautiful in a feminine very feminine uh libra energy mature very feminine natural or very close to natural or nature when it turn when it comes to her looks Or not even just her looks, like she's beautiful inside and out. Very nurturing and sensual. Once again, I see strong sensuality with the Mars and Taurus. But this King of Pentacles is Taurus and she's Libra. But I get a lot of sensuality in this reading. Beauty and sensuality. A lot of nature as well. A lot of trees, a lot of growth fertility like she could be very close to nature like nature um a lot of trees i see a lot a lot of trees um 
I also see someone has a gift once again of giving advice, being a counselor, and that is what a queen of swords is, okay? Um, someone has a gift of giving out truthful information. The two of swords is reversed. So this person is not confused or conflicted about anything. Like this person means what they say and says what they mean. And they're very clear and direct, um, diplomatic as well, because she is the feminine energy of the sword so libra is very diplomatic so um she's willing she's open and willing to listen um and then she's very discerning and she's able to make her judgments um so she has opinions she has great ideas she gives tips guidance counseling that's a gift um of the queen of swords so um, with the two of swords wanting to come out in reverse, it can represent delays. And I do see some type of delay or something, but I will get to that. This delay is in connection to someone's reputation, fame, wishes. Um, something has been kept in the dark or someone's been trying to keep someone in the dark, uh, hiding something, trying to hide something, but it's coming. It's, it will be exposed or come out, um, or revealed, okay if there were lies that were told she's a human lie detector she can sniff out any lies that were you know said um so two of swords in reverse would be lies being expo exposed um and this is someone's reputation it's, it, it's in connection to someone's reputation uh there's something about hiding trying to hide cover up okay if someone's trying to for instance lie or cover up or cover up a lie that's going to be exposed um it's like trying to hide something or someone isolate them hide them restrict them keep them in the dark um but the star this is only delays this is this is delays this is blocking as well like someone's trying to block a star block someone's wishes someone's dream someone's fame block or darken someone's reputation ruin someone's reputation with the star um progress as well the star could represent progress like someone could be trying to delay block stall someone's progress reputation dreams hopes keep them lost keep them in the dark keep them isolated restricted controlled lonely even alone nine of pentacles and that all that's going to be seen or someone can see what someone has been doing trying to do with the two of swords in reverse like if this was upright at one point where um it was blocked um it's now in reverse and lies will be exposed here or someone will be seeing the truth or the truth will be coming out. So um, the two of swords could still represent delays. So there are delays here. I do see restriction and delays. Um, but... Or something could just be like postponed. Someone po is trying to postpone something from happening. As well. And that could be in reference or connected to not letting something go. Holding on, trying to pos postpone something or someone. That's a delay. Refusing to let something go and trying to postpone something, delay something from coming to fruition, from happening, from, from progressing, okay? There's something about communication here with this Queen of Swords. Like I said, something about information, advice, counseling, help, opinions, ideas. There's someone is giving someone opinion, idea, counseling, um, and hopefully it's not to block or delay someone, make someone indecisive, trying to make someone indecisive, trying to postpone something or someone. So they're, someone could be saying something, communicating something to, 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 to delay, postpone, to stop, slow down, think about it. Someone could be trying to advise someone before they do something as well. 
So this two of swords could go two ways. Either someone is communicating to postpone, delay, or cause like some type of indecision in another person, or someone is going to see a lie for what it is. Like someone is not confused. They see something for what it is. They see the truth in the matter. They're not confused. They're not conflicted. They know and see the truth. I find it interesting that this particular King of Pentacles has his eyes closed. Okay. Um, by this King of Pentacles having his eyes closed and he's right underneath this tunnel... Um, there's something about this person's subconscious. This person's not seeing something. Okay. Yes, this is not seeing something. And this King of Pentacles is not seeing something. They have their eyes closed. Lost. Dark. If you close your eyes, it's dark. You open your eyes, you can see. But this could be, you know, not literally, but this is figure, figuratively speaking. This King of Pentacles is not seeing with his eyes. This is not seeing something. Two of Swords. Someone is lost in darkness. You close your eyes, you're in darkness, you're lost. Someone, Two of Swords could be denial as well. But it's in reverse. This could also represent this King of Pentacles is exploring his subcon subconscious mind. Instead of looking for what they can see, facts, information that they can see. Maybe he could be exploring his subconscious. He could be like meditating. He almost looks meditative in a med meditative state here. Just for instance, if this king of pentacles was to meditate to find or seek answers to learn how to li listen to his intuition his ancestors his spirit guides his inner guidance system out of a difficult situation uh he's exploring this idea of following his inner guidance out Instead of relying on information, proof, facts, or uh, some type of, I don't know, um, listening to this person, advice from this person. Because he's he is facing the opposite way. He's turned away, he's not, he, and he's closing his eyes. He's looking away, closing his eyes, and listening to something else within i'm not sure which one or which way it is if this person is not seeing something because um i would say it was this king of pentacles not seeing something the way he has his eyes closed and the way this two of, two of swords is blindfolded and the way he's in connection right underneath this tunnel which represents lost and in darkness in dark times lost this is lost, not seeing, in darkness. And this could go one or two ways here with this Queen of Swords. I'm not quite sure um, if this Queen of Swords is causing the blockage, the delays indecision to postpone something or she's counseling advising giving information so someone could see the truth to see something because the queen of swords is a counselor advisor someone that could communicate something give information give direction because this is someone who's misdirected or don't know which direction to take 
and someone needs help in their direction, they're indecisive, they're at a crossroads, and someone is lost and needs direction, you would go to a guidance counselor. That's a guidance counselor to find their way. Someone is lost and needs to find their way. There's a divine feminine here, strong Libra. Strong Libra, high vibrational Libra, queen of swords, empress. I also see with the two of swords underneath the star, which could represent someone's reputation. And with the two of swords being in reverse, the truth being seen or exposed or lies being exposed that can tarnish someone's reputation or come out about someone's reputation, okay, with these two combination of cards. This is Libra. This is Aquarius, okay. We do have all air sign here. Uh, we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Libra, like strong Libra here. This Queen of Swords, Two of Swords in reverse. Libra there, Libra there. But the Queen of Swords is also in connection to Aquarius, Gemini. But yeah, something, lies are going to be revealed and or exposed here with this Two of Swords in reverse about someone's reputation, rather in a positive way or a negative way, I'm not quite sure. But it did. It, it can't indicate lies being exposed or the truth being seen in reference to someone's reputation. Okay. Um. So definitely, we have work here. Something about work. Someone being an entrepreneur. Um. With eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, king of pentacles is a business person here, who works for themselves. Uh, hardworking, independent, indecisive, confused, at a crossroads, there's loss, there's regret, and someone has been speaking to give information, truth, communication to this individual as this Queen of Swords, Divine Feminine. Empress, Libra. That's what I'm seeing here. This King of Pentacles is the one who is within, it seems, this tunnel. I do see a legal situation with this tower. A big mountain to get over, to get through. Something difficult. I see legal... And Libra is all about legal as well. This could be a legal advisor as well with Libra. Legal advisor, legal counselor, lawyer. Someone could be needing to communicate or talk to a lawyer about a legal situation here. A contract that they're stuck in, binded to. There could be delays with this contract. Delays. Postponement. I'm seeing something keeps getting postponed here. Or someone has just been on a fence for a long time. Or someone could be causing these delays and postponements or something like that. Um, someone really, really regrets dealing with something. Someone they regret. They're sad. Someone's really focused on money here. Very money focused. Focused on business. This is Eight of Pentacles business. Fish is business. King of Pentacles business. Nine of Pentacles business. There's something about strong business here. Very focused on it. Dedicated to it. Hard working. But there's so much regret 
regretting something. It's in connection to this bouquet. Once again, the bouquet is a gift. Christmas is a gift. There's something about a, a gift and regret. This regret, uh, this gift, like if someone was a gift, someone could regret not holding on to this gift. They feel like someone was a gift. Something was a, a gift to, mm, something could have been a gift to a business, to their business. Something about business, because this is Eight of Pentacles. This is work. This is a business man, a business person. An entrepreneur, independent. I keep hearing like independent contractor, independent, nine of pentacles, self-sufficient, um, power, authority as well uh, with this tower. This could be someone single or a, a single authority figure who stands on their own, who stands out or stands strong on their own. Um authority there's like i said it, i see so many different messages um there's something you definitely hear about business though with the nine of pentacles king of pentacles eight of pentacles and this fish about finances and business there was some type of gift someone regrets not holding on to this gift because we have holding on libra contract uh uh partnership you know um gift so if there was a partnership that could have been a gift someone should i don't it could have been like a missed opportunity type of energy like someone missed the opportunity to go into a contract or partnership with someone that would have been beneficial basically a gift it would have been beneficial someone regrets this gift not Appreciating the gift, not giving the gift attention. Um, there was a gift. Someone should have held on, not let it go. It's for business, money, finances. Someone is very hardworking, very focused on their money, their business. They could have been. They could have missed the gift because they're so focused on money and their business. They missed the gift. The gift could have done something um there's something about growth and blossoming someone could, there's delays here delayed in growth as well restriction if something was supposed to grow at a rapid at a rapid rate or faster or more it was su suppressed it could have grown bigger or more but it's like it was suppressed in some type of way because this is blossoming the tree is growth we have a lot of finances money material gains material finances wealth here as this business king of pentacles page of uh, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. There's a blossoming or growth. And this is the overall energy of the Empress repre representing fertility, you know, uh, creativity, fertility. Like, Yes, there's a restriction, delays, post postponement, because the impress, which is the overall energy in connection to the tree, the impress will make things grow at a rapid rate. With the impress, things will grow unlimited is the word I'm looking for. There's unlimited growth with this empress it's unlimited it will take less effort less work less time 
or half the effort, half the work, half the time. Unlimited potential, unlimited growth here. In business, um, the only reason why I'm saying business because this is a business person. We're talking about work, eight of pentacles, and there's business on this fish card. This is very much about business. Money, wealth. So, um, once again, uh, this could be about getting a new job, something about a job, building, okay, building a business, being committed to something, trying to accomplish something in terms of wealth, building wealth. And the King of Pentacles is... Once again, like a businessman here who has like a, a thriving empire, you know, um, this is strong Taurus here, thriving empire, high status. Enterprises. Enterprises, business enterprises, high status. Um, and I see preoccupied with financial matters. Like, once again, focus on money and building. Preoccupied with financial matters. This is King of Pentacles. Something about that. Regret being preoccupied with financial matters. Not seeing. Eyes closed. Or finally seeing something. But they're not seeing like with their eyes. Once again, I see something about... This King of Pentacles could be like meditating or exploring their subconscious mind and they could be now seeing what they didn't see before. Whatever it is, there's a loss and regret. That's the first card out and it's in connection to this gift that I see. A gift something about beauty appreciation it could have been an invitation of some sort someone was inviting i see an invitation with this letter and this bouquet inviting invitation um this could also be someone regretting something and wanting to send an invitation a message to a person or someone did, or I don't know, something like that, you guys. Um, from what I can see, the overall energy is this impress. This is unlimited potential, unlimited growth here. Um, slow, steady growth. Um, this is someone who could give good advice, um, a guidance, a guidance counselor. She can give direction, help. She has great ideas. <laughs> is this like some type of interview or something i feel like this is like an interview <laughs> um i just heard interview interview a job interview like this is like someone's resume their key points of what they're good at you know she's a queen of swords you know she is enlightened <laughs> she has a good family history she comes from a good family a good background <laughs> She's enlightened. Uh, she's smart. She gives good good information, direction, guidance. She um, once again has helpful tips, tips and tricks and ideas. Um, she's very opinionated, direct. She's diplomatic. She's not stubborn or closed off. Um, as you can see, the two of swords is reversed. So she's very open, 
you know, she's willing to listen. She's open. Um, once again, this is someone uh, who is not confused. This two of swords is in reverse. Okay. So she sees the truth, knows the truth. Um, she's open to listen. You know, she's not someone who thinks she's a know-it-all. She's not a know-it-all. She knows She's wise enough to know she don't she doesn't know anything so or everything she doesn't know everything um but she's very intelligent and she you know has a a good amount of information she holds a lot of information herself knowledge and information to advise and give to other people but she's open to listen to other people's you know that's the blue diplomacy right so she's open to listen to other people as well um so as you can see she has her hand out extending as in she's open for communication she's open for compromising sharing ideas things like that you know i would say like um she can give good business advice direction business advice direction guidance from a clear um like from a clear insightful she's very insightful she has insight or very perceptive so she can give good advice or counseling there's some type of advice or counselor i keep getting that strongly and i've actually gotten it in another reading either way um we're talking about a divine feminine overall energy libra um if this is a libra this is a divine feminine libra high vibrational libra who embodies this high vibrate uh she has a gift of discernment a gift of she has mental intelligence mental strength um this is a very this is a divine libra feminine so she's in she is she has some type of ancestry that reaches deep or way back in past many lifetimes past lifetimes um heritage or culture she has like a rich heritage or culture here um, she has favor from her ancestors and spirit guides. This is high favor. She's a gift. Okay, Christmas. She could have came around Christmas or something. Um, but she's like some type of gift to a person. This is a gift you should not be trying to let go. This is a gift given as an asset to be your eyes. Oh my gosh. To be your eyes because you're not seeing Sometimes you might miss you might miss things. You're so focused on money and work, and she's able to see, have eyes in places where you're not able to see. This um, Libra, um, she comes with an emperor. Okay, she there's an emperor here that comes with in this family ancestry this emperor is very serious um <laughs> i don't know what this emperor problem is but he's not happy and he doesn't play any games okay about this empress so found someone's father father figure divine masculine this emperor is not playing about something this is about business this is about work once again i feel like i was reading someone's resume like this is an asset to someone's business um this person is an asset to someone's business this is a business advisor if this is not like a marriage counselor uh, shit i see marriage counseling here as well initially um because we are talking about contracts and partnerships with the seventh house being here twice, but this could be a business contract, heavy business. I don't really see love here necessarily. I just see a gift and a business contract or partnership of some sort. Um, and this person is a gift to a business. And we, I just pretty much 
gave a, r a rundown on this person's qualities um, and what they're like and their a little bit of their background, I guess. <laughs> Even though, you know, academically, we're not talking about their qualifications as far as their academics, but this person has some type of skill and for some reason they want to talk about her divinity ancestry bloodline <laughs> um of the highest uh, this is a divine feminine so uh, we do have divine feminine here in the major and minor arcana so uh her ancestry goes way way back i don't know why that wouldn't matter but they pointed it out to me um And like I said, whatever else may resonate, I see something about restriction, hiding and restricting someone, trying to isolate someone, um, delay as well, trying to delay someone. Um, and the truth coming out about that with this two of swords, come, like someone seeing the truth or being exposed for this, I'm seeing that. With his two of swords in reverse, um, I also see potentially in a lower vibration, vibrational way, I'm seeing someone giving someone advice to cause delays and post, post, postponements <laughs> um, as well through their information, their advice, and their communication. It can go that way as well. I do see high vibrational Libra and then I see low vibrational I'm not sure if it's Libra. It could be high vibrational Libra versus a low vibrational Libra or just a high vibrational air sign versus a low vibrational air sign um, or high vibrational Libra versus another low vibrational air sign. I see two situations in this reading, okay, where one person gives truth and clarity and direction and another can give delays and postponements and indecision all right um i see someone very focused on finances money okay um back to this five of cups which is the first card out the most important card i think someone regrets something and they want to send an invitation of some sort to show appreciation in terms of a gift, they might want to give someone a gift, uh, see someone as a gift and regret something and um, want, to, want to extend invitation or this invitation is in connection to this Queen of Swords. I see the invitation as this letter. So this Queen of Swords could have given someone, expressed something, communicated something, invited someone. This could have been a resume, and a resume, a letter, contract, something that was typed up, written up. Someone dropped it off, gave it to this person, and they ignored it. They regret ignoring this person's resume or application. If they submitted like an application, this person, this boss of this job, this work regrets not hiring this person. It could be something like that. That's why there's regret, five of cups. So, um, it's definitely something about a gift here. Oh no. Hold on, you guys. There's also someone who stands alone, very powerful and successful on their own. I think both this King of Pentacles and this feminine Empress are one and the same who stands on their own independently in terms of knowing how to make po profitable decisions, investments, okay? They know they're not shy when it comes to hard work. They both know what hard work can yield here. They're very familiar with 
reward there's no rewards without effort without work or something like that and investment investing investments um king of pentacles is definitely someone with a thriving business but this is a feminine energy nine of pentacles impress which this is a strong virgo here as well king of pentacles nine of pentacles very strong Virgo here, strong Libra and Virgo, a strong feminine, someone that could be in their feminine. This King of Pentacles could be connected. Either to this feminine in this power and position, or he also can embody. It's very, it's very close because this is Virgo femininity. Um... This is abundance and prosperity as well as the impress. This is the minor arcana impress versus the major. Both, this is King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles is a thriving business. Someone who's done it on their own single-handedly built a powerful business strong um something about this king of pentacles been in the dark though or been through dark times been in the dark or been through dark times they've been lost they know what it's like to be lost to go through dark times they know about the struggle or something like that. This is why this person is independent. They might have had to do a lot of things on their own. Get themselves out. Hmm. so whatever the case there's a gift there there's a wish a dream coming true there was communication this is coming through a letter a phone call um this is to grow someone's business, to grow someone's money. This is good news, good information, good blossoming to blossom someone's business. But um, someone is still in the dark, lost here. Uh, could be ego, could be something about ego authority isolation lonely which some type of restriction um we have manifest successful manifestation learning to manifest aligning to receive journal and candle so someone's trying to manifest or they have manifested this gift okay so open prepare yourself to receive a gift you manifested this Someone's receiving a gift that they manifested. The fall season, uh, August, September, October. That's Libra, Leo, and Virgo. Winter time towards the back. Fall to the winter. So that's, once again, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn. December, January, February months are important or signs we have overcome and i heard overdue something is overdue if there were delays overcome spiritual obstacle current major issue you will find a solution lesson learned cycle closed okay so there's some type of blockage delays once again spiritual obstacles 
this is the current major issue. You will find a solution, finding a solution. It will happen within a month. Someone is finding a solution, giving the solution the future. Manifesting again. Manifesting what you want to happen in the future. Adventure. New places, new food, new people, trying new things, being spontaneous, stepping out your comfort zone. The future again. Setting future goals, plans, manifesting. New people, places, and things. Doing things different. If you want different results, you got to try different things. New ideas, new people. Blessings, unexpected money, being spoiled, spoiling yourself, more energy, prosperity in all things, good health. Impress is good health. With the tree, long health, good health. Um... I'm seeing, I did see with this bouquet and fish, I said something about spoiling. I see someone feeling spoiled, being spoiled, getting spoiled. And here we have the actual card that came out, being spoiled or spoiling yourself. It's right on top of this King of Pentacles. So um, someone is spoiling a person, um, wants to spoil a person, has been spoiling someone. Okay, uh, this person could be spoiled. I don't know. Something about spoiling. I got, I've got. picked that up strongly here. Strongly. So I will hit the, I hit the mark on that one. Definitely something about spoiling or being spoiled. And then we have assets. Savings, life insurance, 401k, second home, boat. ATV, snow, snowmobile, RV, etc., and having more than you need. And that's falling right on top of this Nine of Pentacles. So definitely this is success, financial stability, security, profit, prosperity. I mean, the whole nine, wealth, whatever you want to call it. This is blessings, unexpected money, having more than you can want, having more than you can need. You can have multiple houses, multiple cars. Feeling financially stable, financially independent here. Um, this is something that someone deserves um, because they put in some hard work here. But no, I feel like someone wants to spoil a person. Nine of Pentacles is someone who's spoiled, having more than what they can need. Spoiling yourself or just having more than you can need and you can spoil yourself. Mm hmm. Having like a thriving, successful business and you'll be able to spend on yourself. You can buy yourself whatever the hell you want. There is no cap to what you can have. You know. I'm hearing you can have whatever you like or T.I. <laughs> you can have <laughs> I'll put that song in the description box. You can have whatever you like. Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> it's either someone wants to do this for you someone wants to do this for someone someone wants to do this for you or you do this for yourself you can have whatever you like this is what this this right here is and this bouquet fish and this this someone might gift through their love language could be gifting because I heard gift strongly right out the gate with the Christmas. It's like Christmas every day or something. <laughs> it's this. It's like Christmas every day. Um, this could be someone's love language. The way they show their appreciation. Attention. Um, is gift giving. Okay. Buy you. These are big ticket items now. Big ticket items. We're talking about um, <laughs> big ticket items. I'll just put it like that. Um, you can have whatever you like. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have success towards the back. Happiness and love. Prosperous career. Good health again. 
you know, health, is, having good health is abundance. It's a blessing. Healing, financially stable. Um, we have at the bottom, gather, attending a party, host, get together, uh, host a get together, accept the invitation. It will be fun. Community. Oh, so spirit said right off top, so you better accept this invitation. So if you receive an invitation, a letter, communication, invitation, bouquet, accept it. Say yes. This is to attend a party, to have some type of get together. It could happen within a, a week. Or within a week, someone could be cutting someone off or someone is having an emotional outburst. Because they're being cut off, someone is cutting ties with someone. Um, something is happening within a week. Well, some type of injustice here. There's some type of anger within a week because, and then we have this gather of two. An invitation someone's wanting to send out an invitation and it leads to a proper prosperous career i would say career more than love i mean libra seventh house definitely could be contracts in love but i see heavy business with king of pentacles eight of pentacles and his fish card this is about someone's career and having more than what they can need and want a prosperous that's success so you can have whatever you like um, but you have to accept some type of invitation. Okay. Um, this will grow someone's finances. Their financial stability here. That goes right with the impress. Accept the invitation. Either this impress is extending the invitation. It says, you know, with me. You have unlimited growth, unlimited potential asset to you, your business, or vice versa. Someone sees this impress as a gift, as an asset to their business, and wants to extend an invite. It could go either way here. Definitely take whatever resonates with two people. Um, could really level up or level someone up. Um I don't know. Um, this Empress could be someone's level up. Or vice versa. This person could be this Empress level up. I see collaboration for sure. Something about business, work, and collaborations. Career. I keep seeing like um, accepting a job offer. Uh I was seeing something about resumes and applications, but it could be like hypothetically speaking or symbolic. Like it couldn't, it doesn't have to be like physically, like literal paperwork, but tell us more about this invitation. We have Libra again, <laughs> book burning. Hmm. This invitation, book burning. With Taurus, the still. What is this? I see a separation, divorce, towards the back. With Capricorn, Dear John, is peeking out here. Gemini with Jack and Diane. And then Shooting Star, Aries. Uh, but Aries is here with the Emperor. Um, the Invitation, Libra, Taurus, again. That's Taurus, Libra, Empress. Taurus, Libra, King and Queen of Swords. That's here. So invitation between a Libra and a Taurus. It looks to be a Libra feminine and a Taurus masculine. 
something here about someone's heritage. I don't know why that keeps coming up. It's something about someone's heritage. We have this tree that was with this empress, which is ancestry, their roots, right? We have the heritage here, and then you have the heritage here, destroyed heritage. Someone's heritage is destroyed, was destroyed. Someone destroyed someone's heritage. Wow, it's unknown. Their heritage was destroyed. Wow. Book burning. Someone destroys someone's history or heritage. And you know what I'm seeing? Like, um, just for instance, uh, many cultures have gone, gone through persecution at the hands of another group where they try to rewrite a particular group of people rewrite their history we re rewrite their heritage destroy their heritage um i don't know how to describe it the best way i can explain um like the native americans um they were almost destroyed into extinction um physically like literally um there's so many few left um, African Americans, their heritage was destroyed and probably rewritten um, in terms of Africa. Um, it's something like that, like someone comes from destroyed heritage. Their heritage, they come from a, a strong family ancestry bloodline, but it was destroyed and re rewritten is what I'm seeing and hearing. It was rewritten. Okay, over time, someone rewrote these people, their their heritage, their history. It was rewritten. Their original was destroyed. Who this person is, where who they come from, royalty. This is someone who comes from a very See, look, it says, they literally could come from some type of heritage that was destroyed, that was in the Iberian Peninsula. I'm going to go research any type of folklore or anything that I could probably find about that Iberian Peninsula, because um, I don't know much about it, but is something about that in connection to this reading it doesn't have to be but i'm gonna just see what i can find because they're saying that this person's heritage was destroyed and um re they rewrote this person's heritage they rewrote the history of what happened to these people and but this person comes from a rich ancestry roots bloodline heritage um culture a rich culture that has developed for generations i heard eons but <laughs> calm it down you know <laughs> but culture heritage and culture this person has gone through has a strong heritage and culture rich that has developed over generations, but no one knows because it was destroyed and history was rewritten and changed about what happened to this people, to this person's ancestors. Um, they were silenced, persecuted. It says persecute. They were persecuted, silenced, destroyed. And then I'm um, just seeing buried, buried with time and history, who they were. They could have even been erased off the map. Like, Jesus, what is this? It says suffocated, censored, silenced, controlled, persecuted. 
changing the narrative, they changed someone's story. Someone could have erased this bloodline and changed the narrative of who these people were, how important they were. Um, I'm seeing like, you know, people who, groups of people who steal other people's culture and then claim it as their own. So they will go and destroy a more developed culture that has been around for a long time um, and destroy their culture and then show up as those people and say that's their heritage. You know, something weird like that. Um, but I'm asking about this invi invitation And what came out, <laughs> I don't know who is sending the invitation and who needs to accept the invitation, but they're saying that someone, though they have been censored, silenced, and controlled for who they are, where they come from, this person is of someone of culture, class, taste. This is someone who has, in a way, developed even more in some aspect. They have been purified even through the under these conditions. This person has something of purity or purifying with them that has developed over time. A refined taste or a refined culture, style, elegance. Something has been developing. And whatever has been developing, um, it's this still was following the shooting star. When this invitation comes through, this is the star. Um, someone needs to say yes. And not hesitate, not a second, because this is someone's moment. This is someone's moment, okay? It's something that's rare, a rare moment in time. Something has been developing. The more suppressed that this person has been, the more they've been able to develop. And the moment will come to pass for them, the opportunity for some type of wish to be granted here, a gift, a wish granted. So jump on it as quickly as possible. Um, this is something that's rare. You don't come by this every day. This could be a person, okay? Um, that you don't come by every day. This is a rare moment to come in contact, to do business with, to par partner up with. This is brilliant, it's enterprising. If you have a business, this would, like I said, with this impress, there's unlimited growth and potential. So there's something about enterprises or enterprising, brilliant, and that would be also Libra, Divine Feminine Libra, Queen of Swords. There's something about Libra and Taurus. Libra, Feminine, Taurus, Masculine. Um, brilliant. Aquarius as well with the star. Aries, we have a lot of different signs here, but I do see strong Libra and strong Taurus mainly. But it's, it's something enterprising that's going to happen here. Okay. So if someone is extending an invitation, this is the moment you've been waiting for. So say yes. All right. Um, someone blowing me up. It's time for me to get out this reading. Uh, let me get a guidance from the Oracle. Wisdom of the Moon Oracle. Let's see what comes out. Message. Message here. There's a message. 
Something about an enterprising business, enterprising career, invitation, unlimited potential, and <laughs> card 20, fulfillment. That's someone's fulfillment. Ooh, what is this? Lust? Lust and fulfillment. Um, I don't see love. I don't see necessarily love i mean of course seventh house in libra could be about love venus but i don't see lust though i don't know where that come from but it's at the bottom of the deck but we're going to focus on this fulfillment here card 20 And it says, this is a sign that all your needs are being met. You having more than you need. That you are close to achieving your goals. I celebrate your choices at this time, for you have drawn a symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to integrate and digest what you have learned of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter is intended to feed your soul. You are meant to have a rich, satisfying life and taste all that experience has to offer look around recognize all the ways that your life is already full you have so many reasons to feel good about yourself all is well and will be well when you find or choose fulfillment so having everything you can have whatever you like <laughs> fulfilled in every way um refined taste i'm seeing refined taste the good stuff Good food, good wine, good music, good clothing, the finer linens, that's Nine of Pentacles, Lug uh, luxury, uh, you know, expensive brands, um, you know, um, Something about like elegance here, refined culture, refined taste, as far as style, food, luxury, luxury items, something like that. Living the good life, experiencing and living it up. Um, they said that you deserve it, so... Um, you're close. Something is close. You can almost taste it. That is beautiful. I actually love this reading. It was a little bit, you know, touch and go here, there. Pretty much said everything that I've seen and heard. But um, that's all what I have for you right now. Um, if this reading has helped you, answered any questions, you found it informative or just entertaining, please like and subscribe so you can Stay up to date with my readings and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.